So you gotta explain how you got these, Grandpa. Whoa! Because they weren't like a mission that you that you pursued that you really wanted a Corvette. Whoa. It was more like a. But you would have never bought them. Well, I took this. The guy owed me some money, and I gave him twelve thousand dollars. I guess what he owed me. And he was happy about that. Yeah. It only has 30,000 miles on it. It's just like new. So what was the story? I didn't get all of that. This is a this this Corvette is this Corvette is 42 years 41 years old. Ooh. And it only has 30,000 miles on it. Wow. So it's still is new as far as how far it's gone. That one over there has only got 25,000 miles on it. And it is... Um, Which one, the second one? Yeah, yeah, this one. The white one. Okay. That's a very expensive car. That has 12 cylinders. That has an engine like an airplane. Mm -hmm. And it runs like... It. it just starts to run really good at about 110 mile an hour. This is a V12. This is a roadster. A roadster doesn't have a top. But this has a, a cloth top if I want to put it up. But this car has 12 cylinders. I'll show you the engine. Wow. That has 12 cylinders. Look, there's a fan. There's a fan. Mm -hmm. So when this gets going, it goes really fast. Really? Look how nice this trunk looks. lucky people. We have luck all the time, way beyond the ordinary. In fact, I've come to just expect it because it comes all the time to us. So, and our family is a lucky family. I mean, we, I think it, I think it goes way back in the bloodlines. Probably the bloodlines of both the Woolies and the Nixons. My, when you get to be my age, they Medicare or whatever I have, they come around and check your health from a, a home, a home visit. Mm -hmm. And they sent this doctor and it was a lady and she had me do all kinds of things like run over the stairs and back and tie me and, and jump and do all these kind of things. And, and when I got through, I said, how'd I do? She says, amazing. And I said, what do you mean? And she said, well, I would have thought you were 70 instead of 89. And I said, why? And she says, because all of your, all of your, all of your, all the checks that we put on you, I haven't even had a 70 year old that's done any better than you did. And I said, would you please write that down so I can show it to my kids so they don't think I'm going to... And she did. She wrote right on the thing. Mr. Nixon checks out as well as any 70-year-old I've ever checked. <laughs>